Bobcats, welcome to Bobcat Entertainment News, your source for all things entertainment at Ohio University and Athens County. I'm your host, Taylor Brooke. And I'm Maddie Young. We have an exciting first show for you, packed with talent, fun, and Athens' favorite locals. I'm excited. So let's dive right into things. She can dance, she can slay makeup, and she can perform. She is Plasma Blood. I had the amazing opportunity to sit down next to local drag queen, Plasma Blood. No boy was I in for a treat. Take a look. Hi everyone, it's Maddie Young with Bobcat Entertainment News, and I have a special guest with me today, Plasma Blood, and he's going to give us a little taste of what it's like to be a drag queen. Hi, how are you? I'm great, how are you? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, I yeah, really appreciate it. Absolutely. Okay, so, tell me what's going on here. I um, look over here and I see stress. <laughs> I see stress. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely stressed. Um, <laughs> that's fine, we're working through it. Um, no, this is basically um, all I need to get ready. Um, okay. I won't be using all of it but I'll be using a good bit of it. I want you to kind of give your backstory and tell us how you got started. Well, I got started doing drag in Parkersburg, which is my hometown, about 45 minutes away from Athens. Um, and, well, I was originally dancing there. Dancing. Um, <laughs> and the local queens there, they just kind of adopted me in and I became really close with them really quickly. Story behind the name. Oh, um, originally I was Jasmine for a very, a very short period and then I added on um, uh, blood. So I was Jasmine blood for a hot minute and I wasn't really actively performing so not a lot of people caught on to the name. Um, I just wanted something, you know, short and memorable um, and iconic. Um, and I'm very, like, much so, like, a vampy queen um, mm -hmm. and kind of present Dark. that aesthetic a lot. Yeah. Even whenever I'm not even really asking for it, people are just kind of like, oh, vampire queen, got it. So I'm ready to jump into this contour. I don't know about you, Miss Thing. <laughs> Usually, the piece of paper that I use for my contour um, is my 50 favorite Bible verses. <laughs> but I don't have that today. I'm not sure where it's at. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to use this piece of paper. <laughs> Hi cheekbone. Hi, how are you? She's, She's there. Hopping. So when you start, like when you start really transforming, mm -hmm. do you start acting different and A like, talking bit, yeah. different? Yeah, I'll start feeling it. I'll start feeling the makeup. I'll be like, ooh, okay, contour. She is a woman. Oh. <laughs> what? tips and tricks do you have for people that aren't drag that they could use they in everyday do lives? Yeah. Like, they can use in real life? Mm -hmm. Either that means like personality wise, oh. makeup wise. Just don't be afraid. You know, play with whatever colors make you happy. People like ask me all the time, especially at work, like, oh, you know, this glitter, I don't know if I should wear this glitter eyeshadow because I'm getting older, older people shouldn't wear, you know, glitters, right? And I'm like, no, wear whatever makes you happy, you know, wear whatever makes you comfortable, whether it's your hair, your clothes, your makeup, just, you know, whatever makes you feel like you. Like, do you just like feel like so, like, free? Um, it can feel like that, or mm -hmm. at least I feel like I'm giving the presentation of feeling free, which, okay, here's the thing, we can, like, delve into this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I love psychology. Okay. Um, because a lot of the time when I'm performing, it's not even such a, so much a matter of me feeling free myself. It's a matter of me presenting myself in a way where if others see me, they can feel empowered to be free themselves. Um, and if I've done that, then I feel like I've done a really good job. Mm -hmm. So it's not focused on you, it's focused on the audience. Most and of the what time, you're yeah. portraying. Yeah. All right, how amazing was that? 
Honestly, I had no idea how much detail and effort went to a drag look. That was crazy to see. Really awesome. Right? And she gave us a little DIY makeup hack. She sure did. We have some selfies to show you the final look. Check them out. And Plasma, you killed it. Now dialing into our sports zone. Our reporters Abigail, Madison, and Chance were able to play a fun game with the football players at Ohio University. The team has been having a great season, and we thought they deserved a quick break from their daily schedule. Now let's see if these boys are as quick on their feet off the field as they are on the field. Hey Taylor, we are so excited to play this game with the football players. The game is called Sprite Trivia, and we also have our reporter Chance playing as well. Okay, great. So how we're going to play this game, the boys are going to be standing in a single file line right next to me, and I'll be answering, asking questions, and they will answer with no hesitation. Whoever does hesitate gets sprayed instantly with Sprite by Madison. And then we also have a little competition. We have a Chipotle gift card for the winner. All right? Are you guys ready? All right. All right, here we go. Name a state in the U.S. Go. Cleveland. Oh! SpongeBob, Family Matters, Seinfeld, E.T., Adventure Song. Hope you enjoyed, and back to you, Taylor. Oh. Oh my Take that straight. Take that straight. Okay, so I still want to play that game. Why? You get soaked with Sprite. Okay, doesn't that look so fun? Okay, uh, I will go buy a bottle of Sprite and we can play that with you, then if you really think you want to play. Alright, let's do it. Bring it on. <laughs> to me, that does not sound fun, but the football players did have a lot of fun, and th special shout out to our reporter, Chance, for playing along with them. Well, lastly, Bobcats, to keep the show sweet and simple for you, we're going to tell you about a few events that are coming up on campus that you won't want to miss. Right before Halloween, the Jersey Boy Musical will be Tuesday the 21st, and Marlon Wayne's that Thursday, all at Mamad Theater. And it's spooky season, y'all! And that means Halloween is right around the corner. Maddie, what are you being? Okay, so last year I was post alone, so I have to beat that. So I'm not sure. Still thinking. You have... A little bit of time, but not, not too not much. Really, okay. Not really. I think I'm going to be a race car driver, but cute. we'll see. I don't Love know. That. I just kind of came up with it last minute. Okay, know. cute. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so if you want to catch out the Halloween trick-or-treating, that's going to be October 21st. And then the block party, which is really, really fun. It's personally my favorite. That's going to be October 26th, Saturday. But more importantly, October 29th is pet trick-or-treat. So you will definitely see me petting every dog I see. And you will not be seeing me touch a single dog. Not that I don't like them, it's just I am allergic, so it's... Oh, I'm so sorry for you. I know. That's I, I'm so sorry for myself, honestly. If you didn't get enough of those football players in the video, be sure to head to Peden Stadium November 6th for the football game against our rival, Miami. 
game kicks off at 8 p.m. That's all we have. Have a happy Halloween, Bobcat. See you next time. Thanks for joining us.